We love it, you love it, but it's so difficult to peel, right? Well, today I'm gonna rock your world, so I say, because I'm gonna show you a really easy way to peel your butternut squash and a great recipe for it too. So, first off, you wanna cut it in half right here like I have, and see, it's, it's, it's difficult to, to peel, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. So what we do, cut it in half, and then you poke holes in it, just like that, poke holes all the way around it, and then we're gonna put it in the microwave for about three and a half, four minutes, depending on your microwave. So we've taken our butternut squash out of the microwave, we've let it cool a little bit, and now we're gonna peel it. So it should peel a little bit easier. There we go. Let it cool off. I cut the ends off too, so it's a little easier to work with. And I'm just gonna continue to peel this and then chop it up, and I'll show you what I have next. So I chopped up the butternut squash and put it on a baking sheet here, and I love roasted butternut squash. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a little olive oil, just a little olive oil, a little salt, and then I'm gonna put it in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes at 400 degrees and bake it off. So now that we've roasted off our butternut squash, which quite frankly I could eat just like this, but I'm gonna show you a really simple recipe involving this butternut squash. Put this in a bowl. And I've also cooked up some quinoa here. And the great thing about this recipe is you could do it hot or cold. And this could be a side dish or it could be a main dish. I've actually had this for dinner a few times and it's quite tasty, let me tell you. You mix it all together like this. And so you have the sweetness of the butternut squash with the saltiness of the feta cheese. It's so yummy. And you just put it in a little bowl like this and serve it off. There you go, phone appetite.